Once we've processed our items using get inbox to empty and it's populated our various ready set to folders, we can process these items one at a time using the other scripts like get some actionables done. So we'll go ahead and launch that. Um, it'll bring up a little dialog box asking us if this is what we want to do in case we accidentally pressed it and we don't want to do it at all. We'll go ahead and click OK. It'll then make a list of our location context based on those we've provided and any location that has an item inside of it with a due date that is urgent that we need to get on uh, shows up with an asterisk. So we can go ahead and click on the uh, at Aaron's location and start processing this. If there's a subcontext in parentheses, it'll also give us that list so that we can hone in and focus on just that subcontext. So for example, the at errands you'll notice has one here with uh, at errands and then grocery stores in the parentheses, and that's one of the subcontexts. But there are also others with, with um, no parentheses. So we can go ahead and click other because that's the one that's due. It brings the item up. If it's a folder, it just opens the folder. But if it's a document, it opens it up so that we can work on it. It shows up with three buttons, and this is one of the limitations of AppleScript, which is what Ready, Set, Do uses to do everything that it does. So sometimes you have to click a button in order to get to a new uh, set of selections. This is a good example of that. So we'll just go ahead and click on Do Now. And if we complete the task, we can click Complete. Uh, if we uh, want to rename the item, we can do that. Or if it's still incomplete and it's got something else we need to do, we can go ahead and redefine that by typing in a new next action here and using the same same format, you know, at location, colon, write the next action, and then if it has a due date, you can modify that as well. There are also other buttons here you can use. You can defer it until a certain time, and they'll throw it into your tickler folder at that date, or you can actually delegate it to somebody else by clicking the Delegate To button. I'll just go ahead and click OK, and it just continues to allow you to process that location context. We'll go ahead and do a grocery store, um, there's no more urgent or significant task for the add errands context, so uh, no, we don't want to process anymore. It'll bring us back to our list, and we can just continue going through these as we wish. As we process each one and we go through all the items in that context, it'll start eliminating this, these from the list. So you can actually kind of whittle things down and know when you're you know, finally getting through the entire list. And that's pretty much how the Get Some Actionables Done script works.